Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and villagers of all ages. Welcome to a very special episode of AV Mount Rushmore. This week, we have four very special guests for our Ropes Course Element episode. And we thought, how else would there be a better way to start this episode off than with four uh, facilitators, Owen and Alex and I, you know, do not know much about Ropes Course Elements and facilitating. So we wanted to kick this episode off to four very special guests to talk about their Mount Rushmore's for the Ropes Course Elements. So without any further ado, let me introduce our guests. Our first guest is AV's ev first ever virtual Ropes Course Coordinator. And it is rumored that he can climb every single element blindfolded with his right hand tied behind his back, hailing all the way from Baltimore, it's Nicholas. If I had a dog, his name would be Blue. Ashley! What's up, guys? What's, on, Nick? What's up, man? Our... Why'd the chicken cross the road to get to our next guest house? Hailing all the way from the land of blue and gold, it's Melissa Chicken Amsida. What's going Hi. on, Mel? <laughs> What is up? <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. Our next guest perfected the arrival day hug. After closely studying the hugs of his big brother, it's Michael, the Kendama King. New, new. Let's go. What's, What's up, here? buddy? How are you doing? I'm doing well, man. All right, and our last guest. Once beat Nicholas Ashworth in an arm wrestling contest, it's Sophia. Sophie from SoFlo. Hodge. Hey guys. What's going on? <laughs> How right. is everyone? Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are Thank you for having us. Yeah, of course. You guys are our awesome guests this week. Um, so just to really quickly talk about what our format's gonna be. It's gonna be similar to our past episodes. Uh our four facilitators here are gonna do a draft starting with Nick Ashworth, then Melissa then Sophia, and then Mr. Michael Nunu. And then, like usual, we'll switch, we'll snake the draft order. So in round two, then Michael, you'll have the first pick. And um, then Sophia, Melissa, and Nick, and we'll switch it up to round three and four as well. And then we'll get into our, uh, our three picks for honorable mentions. Um, but before we get started, I just kind of have an open question for any of you guys to hop in and add, uh, answer. I just wanted to know, so what is so special about the Ropes course at camp? And what's something that you guys love about the challenge course obviously you guys are all facilitators so the ropes course is one of you know your favorite places that uh at camp has a special place in your heart so what what's some of the great things about the ropes course uh i guess i'll start i think one of my favorite aspects of the ropes course is that it provides an opportunity for a group of people it doesn't have to be campers sometimes we we have people from outside uh, come into our ropes course. It offers an opportunity for groups of people to come together and have moments of both group cohesion and growth as well as uh, individual cohesion and growth. Uh, and I think that it provides an opportunity for you to, I mean, obviously challenge yourself. I think that's pretty obvious. Uh, but we find that groups really, really knit together on the course. And it's a really uh, unique and interesting experience, in my opinion. Awesome. Would, Thanks, Nick. I would say one of my favorite things is that the ropes course gives you this opportunity and Nick kind of alluded to it, but this uh, challenge by choice. So essentially each person, when they come to the ropes course, they have like their own challenge or let's say like their own goal that they might have in their mind. And so whether that might be maybe climbing the first rung of a ladder, or that might be, you know, completing the high element all the way through, right. Is like each person can fit their challenge and their goal for the day to their needs and their desires. So that's really cool. Yeah, and often what I found out about that too is that like even, you know, if someone decides that they don't want to climb at first, like, you know, like you said, challenge by choice, but once they start seeing, you know, other people kind of come together and like making that decision to climb and, you know, take that risk, well, it's not a risk because it's safe, but, um, yeah. You know, they they <laughs> um, they find that, you know, maybe they want to try it too. And it's a really beautiful thing to see that. I mean, those were all really good points. And I think um, something else special about it is even if the camper or whoever is participating that chooses not to physically participate in the element, there's something for everyone, you know, whether you want to be on a belay team 
overseeing it or kind of being a guide for someone, I think there's something for everyone's strengths and weaknesses on the challenge course. Awesome. Yeah, thank you guys so much. So now to get into the draft, uh, you kind of touched on it there at the end, um, Sophia. Like we're, for these elements, we're doing low elements, high elements, all the different types of elements. There were 28 picks that we put out in our poll this week for you guys uh, to vote on. And so we're going to start off with round one. Nick Ashford, you got the first pick. What are you going with? Uh, you know, seniority rules around here. Uh, I think personally, this first pick, not going to lie, it's a personal one uh, because this is hands down my favorite element, uh, at least high, in my opinion, uh, and that's the pamper pull. And my reasoning behind this choice, now walk with me here, okay? Mm. You got it. You got the obvious element is to jump off the pole and to grab <laughs> onto the trapeze. And now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this is the only goal. But boy, let me tell you, climbing up that pole, that thing's wobbling left and right. It's dude, half the element is just climbing up the pole. And you, sitting on the ground, you're like, oh wow, this seems like a very simple, basic element. This is very, uh, this is very uh, simple and non-complex activity. And then you start climbing, and boy, you're wrong. And not only that, it has a high level of variability, meaning you can go through, you know, maybe somebody's trying to slam dunk it through the trapeze. Some people grabbing it and doing pull-ups. Uh, and that's kind of my personal story is like back in the day, I did it as a camper. And that's when I was a very different uh, body type and size. And I grabbed onto the bar and it slipped through because I wasn't strong. And then um, as I underwent a transformation of my body later on in life, uh, and I got to do the element as many times as I wanted to because being a facilitator is low-key. Uh, a very awesome job. Uh, I was able to grab it and do rep out, you know, a bunch of pull ups because it's super fun. So that's kind of like a personal growth story from from my perspective on why I love that element. Awesome. So do you guys have uh, any thoughts about the pamper pull at all, or we can get to our second pick? I mean, pamper pull is pretty good, but we probably wouldn't have chosen the pamper pull off the first first pick there. I think that you left some some good elements up on the board, so. All right, yeah. nice. I like to hear that from the man with the last <laughs> pick in the first round. Right, so. <laughs> Melissa, yeah, we'll see. What... You have the second pick. What are you taking? Yeah, we'll see what you get, Mike. Okay, second pick, which should be the first pick, because it's my first pick, is Quadrophenia. <laughs> Let me tell you something, okay? Awesome. Camera pull is a tall, wobbly pull, but Quadrophenia is also a tall, well, not as wobbly, pole. And <laughs> the, <laughs> the best part about it is that you get up there and you got to stand on this, like, pie plate. But it's not just you. You have three other people there with you. So it, it, that's, a, that's the best part about it to me is that you, you get to do it with three other people. And it's, like, this element of, you know, being able to, like, trust each other too and, like, helping each other get up on top of it and, you know, trusting that, you know, when you're going to lean back all together, you know, someone's not going to just like let go and flail. Um, my, my favorite memory though was it was my hike year and we just came back from the hike exhausted, like so tired. And that was the first element we did coming back. And gosh, I will tell you, it was such an amazing experience. Hands down, Quadrophenia, number one, can't come. Nice. Great yeah. pick, great pick. All right. So before we get to Michael Noon with his last pick, Sophia, what are you taking in the first round for your first pick at pick number three? My first pick. I mean, Pamperpool and Quadrophenia, I think they're pretty obvious picks. I do love the traversing element, though. So keeping the theme of a high element, I'm going to go with lily pads. You Solid. know, lily nice. pads was. Yeah, good good thank you. Thank you. Uh, lily pads was my personal favorite as a camper. Um, there's just something about being up there, you know, and meeting your partner in the middle when you're on those wobbly discs and you guys say, hey, what's up? And then you keep going and, you know, and there's so much to do on that element. You know, you're either up in the air or you're on one of the, the ropes on, connecting to one of the discs or you're on the belay team. So it's definitely a challenge. Definitely all about teamwork. Definitely the most fun. And it was the first element that Melissa and I facilitated together. Oh, <laughs> wow. That was such a great time. Wholesome yeah. comment. Thank you. All right. And now with our last pick in the first round, Michael <laughs> Nunu, 
You have you're going to have back to back picks, so you got to be strategic here. Has anyone have any of your picks on your big board got taken yet? You know, honestly, so far none of them have gotten picked. So you might be thinking wow. to yourself, you know, three high elements have already been picked. There's a ton of good elements still left on the board. You gotta be like Mike. Mike, you're probably gonna pick a high element, right? Wrong. I'm going with the team triangle. All right. Wow. Hear me yes, out. sir. That's a good Hear one. Me out. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. You might think, oh, team triangle, low element. No, team triangle. So many people can get involved. Ton of room for variation. And best of all, this was the element when I was a camper. This impressed the sister cabin so much. Okay. <laughs> when you're sitting, you're sitting on that tree trunk. You're sending people back and forth. You already know, <laughs> right? This, for me, what? I was like one of those, like, I would say not as vocal campers. And I would be <laughs> like, shy away from my sister cabin. But when it came to the ropes course, this is my time to shine. <laughs> element. Definitely. This this put me on the map. So definitely on the map. And on top of that, the high elements you listed. Pamper pull, only one person involved. Uh quadrophenia, four people involved up at top. You got everyone involved. Yeah, everyone's involved in pamper pull too. What do you mean? The triangle, the entire group, the entire group can participate in this element. What's the same with lily pads? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, and there's there's no reasoning for lily pads there's something for everyone well there's something for everyone too with the team triangle you can't great say all right you know, that's true like that's it. true mr mike and me swimming the other way and taking a the first low element off the board all right so now to kick off round two mike you have another pick are you gonna go with another low or are you gonna switch it up and take a high element this one so now you're gonna be like oh mike like now you gotta take a high all right Wrong again. <laughs> I'm going with islands. Okay. Again, islands. Honestly, this is one of my favorite elements because, uh, again, a lot of variation. There's one variation you could do where you had people blindfolded. And honestly, the best part of this element wasn't necessarily the element itself, but it was when you grab blades of grass and you'd mess with people who are blindfolded. Uh, that was one of my favorite things to do. Uh, added added uh, some challenge uh, to the people who had blindfolds on. Um, and it's fun to tease them. It's fun to tease them. Also, this element can go very wrong very fast. And when you have a great group with you, like when things start clicking, each of you is collaborating, working with one another. This element can be a very fun experience, and honestly, it's a great one to uh, like test out times with. So, if you have a really uh, a really good group, you can uh, you know have like time trials and see how fast they can get. So, it becomes really fun to do, especially when you're in a good group. It's it's one of the best ones to run. So, yeah. Nice, Mike. I like the the theme of taking those two low elements that. Like you said, kind of unify the group a little bit more than, in your opinion, of course, guys. Um, uh, so next, we got Sophia with the second pick in the second round. Well, I mean, Mike's really going for those low elements. So I think I'm going to choose swinging tires this time before it's snatched up. Um, easily my favorite, my favorite low element. I think, you know, it's all about setting your own personal goal. You know, how many tires are you going to get through? Uh, and something different about this one is with high elements, you don't necessarily always feel the people spotting you or feel the people rooting you on but in swinging tires when you're so tired and you you feel everyone backing you up spotting you and I think that's a lot a very special experience I think when you know they've actually got your back and you're not gonna face plant or anything so yeah I think swinging tires definitely is a pick nice all right another excellent choice from Miss Hodge and now Melissa, now we've seen some variation with low elements and high elements. What are you taking with your next pick? All right, guys, listen up. So I think all the elements are glorious, wonderful. I have to say I'm a little disappointed. None of you have said this already. But I think the most foundational element to the ropes course is the hike down to it. And let me tell you why. It's Yes. Respect. I respect that. That's, that's intellectual choice right there. 
yeah it, when, when you think about it it's the chance to cultivate that trust between each other i mean you have everything going for the hike down i mean you have the one-on-one chats you have the chanting music you have you know the looking down at your feet to make sure you don't trip and fall uh you got everything to it and my favorite part about it is when you get to that little bridge that has a little river and you scream bridge i mean well that's that's my favorite part (laughs) um and then you know just hiking up that that hill getting up there getting uh excited um i think it's definitely a uh very important aspect to the ropes course so definitely on the list i have a question for all of you guys is hiking down to the course a low element or a high element? I'm unsure. It's the low. foundation low. to the elements. <laughs> your feet are your feet are on the ground, right? <laughs> <laughs> are your feet on the ground on all elements? I mean, no, low, but low if you think about it, spider's web could be a high element. If you're a re- if you try really hard, it could be. Sure. If you think about it. <laughs> hmm. All right. Okay, so Melissa taking the hike down to the course with her second pick. And lastly, we're going back to our first pick. Now, Nick, you're going to have the back-to-back picks. Mr. Ashworth, what are you taking with your second pick? All right. Listen, we all we all know we're talking about teamwork over here, all right? Mm-hmm. So we're going we're gonna to roll with Jacob's Ladder. Ooh. And That's- the reasoning is, 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 is a multitude. First of all, it looks like this absolutely impossible task because the entire time that you are, let's say, waiting to do the element, you're normally on a blade team. So you got that team aspect. You're kind of holding that person uh, who's going up with you. But underrated aspect, you're actually downhill and you're looking up at this like massive tower. In reality, it's like the <laughs> same height as all the other elements, but it just looks so insurmountably, insurmountably huge that you're just like, Oh, no, there's no way. Like, that thing's so tall. I'm going to set a personal goal, five rungs, or, you know, two rungs, or three rungs. And let me tell you, if you get some really, like, some really amped up athletic guys, they'll be throwing themselves up the ladder in, like, five seconds, and then they'll leave their teammate all the way at the bottom. So there's a little bit of that humbling action going on. I like it for that reason. Uh, for Furthermore, like, the amount of teamwork that's actually required for, for two people to actually both ascend together is is a ton. So – it's it's both thrilling, physically challenging, uh, and there are people that you know you might judge on the outside and say, oh, there's no way, there's no way those two people are gonna are gonna make it up the ladder. Like there's no way. And then guess what? They make it up the ladder because they they dug deep in their heart. And I've seen multiple moments like that as a facilitator, and that is why I picked it. An additional layer for any of my <laughs> ex coordinators, or you know, once a coordinator, always a coordinator that are out there <laughs> listening. The best you already know the best spot to chill as the coordinator is on top of Pamper Pole at sunset. I've eaten dinner up there. I'm not gonna lie. I took a little bag with me on my harness. <laughs> you're sitting up there. It's this it's perfect seat. It's still safe. Like you're still good to go. But basically, like two pamper two of the you know the two of the uh, telephone poles that go all the way up and there's a cross beam. You can sit with your legs dangling on the cross beam. Uh, you know, reflecting on God, maybe while you're, while you're watching the sunset, some really deep intellectual stuff going on. And then you can rappel down. So fun, so much fun. Um, but that's like a personal note. Awesome. Thank you. Nick. What'd you guys think about that pick? I'm honestly shocked. It wasn't picked earlier. Yeah. Jacob's ladder. It's a great one. I, you know, I don't know many of these, but that's definitely one of my favorite, uh, as a camp for sure. All right, so on to round three. Mr. Ashworth, you have back-to-back picks from now. First pick of round three. What are you taking? All right, so if you all, if you all know me, you know I preach that low elements are so underrated. And in my opinion, that I don't want to say they're better. They're just different. And some groups need that differentness. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm going with a low element, arguably the most iconic, bestest, Greatest of all time, low element of all time, is the team wall. Mm, Let me break this down from a fundamental standpoint, okay? Team wall, everyone's involved. Munu, shout out to you. Everybody's involved on the team wall. You got people spotting. You got people lifting. You got this. You got that. You got people up top. You know, they're pulling people (laughs) up. You know what I'm saying? We're all all working together because it's kind of obvious with the name. There's no, no, you know, 
a subliminal aspect to it. It's the team mm. wall. You got to be a team to get up the wall. Mm. Very obvious. But there's a whole new level of challenge and variability here. You can put on blindfolds. You can limit the amount of lifts for a person. You can make them all do it quietly. And mm. I've ran this element so many times, and it's like by far my favorite. By far. Yeah, and that's definitely a steal coming in the third round. Uh, I'm, I'm also surprised that one did not go sooner, but a great low element to pick. All right, and now next we have Melissa again. What are you going to take this round, Melissa? All right, so, you know, I have to argue a little bit, Nick, that, you know, I think this element is probably the most important one. It probably it, – it, it's quintessential of the low elements. <laughs> Quintessential. Listen, yes. <laughs> Quintessentially the best, the TP shuffle. Let me tell you, what? there's log. Oh, what? Listen, oh. listen. I'm listening, listen. I'm listening, I'm listening. This log is so versatile, okay? Like, you can do so much on this log. I, I, you know, I've had this experience as a facilitator and as a camper. I mean, just, like, think about it, you know. You have to, you know, for example, you know, you have to stay silent. You got to think of an animal in your head. And, you know, like me, you probably pick a chicken. And you got to, you know, <laughs> arrange yourself in alphabetical order by making, you know, moves and noises. And it's, it's the funniest thing to, like, you know, move around and make the noise. I don't know. I think so versatile. And everyone's involved in it. And, uh. You know, from a camper and facilitator standpoint, I think it's probably one of the most fun elements, uh, low elements. Uh, you can't beat it. So this is the one that's like that big log on the floor that – let Deacon Mary on that on. one in the camp video last year with you, Ashley? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 that's the one. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> that one is iconic, though. I'll agree with, I'll agree with you on that one, Mel. That's definitely yeah. quintessential. I yeah, do very good. much agree with you, Melissa. <laughs> All right, next, the third pick in the third round, Sophia, what do you got? I, mean, I won't lie, I've been eyeing TP Shuffle this whole time. Um, it is, you know, it's a good one. Um, <laughs> I will go back to the high element this round, though, and I'm going to go with the classic swing shot. All right? Nice. Swing shot. Okay. Swing shot was my very first high element as a camper, and I think it's a lot of people's very first high element and i think it's a very good introduction into the high element side of the challenge course you know i mean it's a very positive vibes environment if you know what i mean you know everyone's having a good time you go up in the harness and you pull the, there's a string and then you swing and it's probably the most freeing feeling um, my favorite is Strikers. I don't know how many Spider-Man I saw last summer, but I loved every single time. <laughs> um, I mean, and then like the Hall team. Hall team's so much fun. You're walking backwards. Everyone's zippered up. It's a good time. It's a really good time. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Good and now to round out round three, Mr. Nunu, now you get the back-to-back -back picks with round, uh, your last pick in round three and the first pick of round four. What do you got? Some more lows or are you going to go back to the high elements? You know, I think I think I'm gonna you know go go with what I know, and that's low elements. Here we go. We got the trust fall. <laughs> so, wow, another great one. Wow, the trust fall is iconic, and mm -hmm. honestly, a lot of similar things with uh, the team wall. It's a classic. It's one of those ones that you end up doing, especially as you get older in age. And honestly, the thing that makes me enjoy it the most, or it gives me like this like euphoric feeling is that moment when you like you lift your feet off the platform and you, you just have to trust in the people behind you. And like, you have no idea if they're going to catch you. If you don't, you know, usually they catch you. There's sometimes where, uh, you know, you have to make adjustments or uh, with spotting and things like that. But the moment you're in the air for like a second, a second and a half, and you just have no idea what's going to happen to you is like, such a, a weird feeling and it's just so hard to describe but um another nice thing about this element too is that um there's also that aspect of challenge by choice right there's different there's four different levels so if you feel like you know you need to like see if you can trust uh you know the people in your cabin or the people you're with you can try like a lower a lower version and then maybe eventually work your way up to the higher one so 
I think this one uh, definitely brings out some uh, emotions and also shows uh, your trust in others, especially your cabin. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a great element. Dude, nice. that half a second feels like it feels like three minutes that you're yeah. falling. You know what I'm saying? Like it yeah. feels it feels just like such a long period of time, but in reality, it's like that. It's so, oh, true. so true. Yeah, I was definitely as a non facilitator that was definitely one of my favorite ones as a camper. Um, all right, and now Mike, back to you to start round four off the last round. You guys all got to make your last pick and round off your Mount Rushmore. Ooh. What are you taking, Mike? All right, this one is a classic, and I feel like it's it's Definitely underrated, and it. I feel like it's very hated on. But you got to hear me out. I'm going with the whale watch. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. The All list. lows. Going with the low. All low elements. What a savage. This <laughs> element is honestly one of my most fun to facilitate, and honestly one of the my most favorite uh, when I was a camper. I don't know if that's, that's right to say, but most favorite, whatever. Um, <laughs> it was like – I don't know what about. I think it's just like a fun one. It's like one where if you want to like troll, you can troll. Uh, if you want to uh, like try and work as a team, you can. And honestly, one of the uh, the cool thing about this element is there's this variation called the saboteur, where uh, someone's, elected, someone's elected to be like saboteur and trying to mess up um, the element. And I remember one time I ran this element, or I was. Uh, a part of the element and we didn't elect anyone to be a saboteur mm -hmm. and it was it was crazy because you know someone's elected to kind of be like messing up the element and we didn't pick anyone uh it was kind of crazy that we tried to like accomplish the element and tried to like endure even though someone was like trying to uh you know not have a succeed so you could make that analogous to life so this element to me uh with the aspect of like balance and also like working with the team and also this like saboteur this one like has a lot of great potential for debriefing and there's a lot of like life lessons you can take out of this element so i think it's very underrated but you can get a lot out of it so that rounds out my list yeah with um, the saboteur aspect of whale watch i think it's very interesting to see different groups different thought processes i think um because every group kind of approaches it differently. Sometimes they're so quick, you know, to, yeah. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, they wait it out. It's always interesting to see what's going to happen. So true. Yeah. So Michael, with the saboteur one, you said you guys didn't pick a saboteur. So, but did the campers that were on or the group that was there, did they, they thought that there was one. So then yes. what happened? So we thought there was a saboteur, but we just didn't end up picking anyone. There was no one that like, really stood out to us as trying to mess things up so we we thought we just had a really bad saboteur so uh, <laughs> uh, yeah we didn't end up picking anyone and we talked about it and uh you know expressed our thoughts about it after but it was really cool to be part of that wait so so you were the participant in this or in this activity like you were one of the people on the whale watch you weren't a facilitator i was not a facilitator this was when i okay see it. okay now this yeah. makes a lot of sense yeah i, I, I get was, you now I okay was a facilitator. okay because i was like wait like what <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying like you you were on the whale watch as a participant and you just thought the saboteur was so bad because nobody was actually like yeah we, yeah we had, okay we had this rule where like you had to i think you had to second it and third the vote and no one no one got voted off with a third vote the vote like, to the, kick the person off you'd have to all elect one person to vote off yeah we okay. hit like there would be times where two people would say they want to kick someone off, but never we never hit that third. So it was really cool. <laughs> I don't know. That's wild. <laughs> so yeah. yeah awesome. You guys figured it out, yeah. All right, and now <laughs> to finish off her list, Sophia, what's your last pick for your Mount Rushmore? Last pick. I am going to go and pick Mohawk Walk. Mohawk nice. Walk is, you know, I'm going back to the low elements here. I think Mohawk Walk is extremely versatile to run it. So many different components to it. And again, it's one of those elements where there's something for everyone. You know, either you're physically on the element or you're spotting someone or you're just trying to guide the group. You know, I had a lot of fun participating in it myself whenever I did. But also, I think it's more fun to watch 
and facilitate a group because every group, you know, everyone strategizes differently. It's, it's a very interesting time. Definitely a good spot in my top four. Awesome. That's a good okay. one. Okay. And now, Melissa, you got to round out your list. What's your last pick? All right. This is an easy one. And it's Spiderweb because one, it I think is very versatile. I never did this as a camper, um, but as a facilitator, I know that I've seen like multiple versions of it. I mean, you can like slide people through the web or you could like, you know, have a rope and weave it through. And the best part of it is that, you know, if it touches the web, you got to start over. And I think that's... Um, probably one of the most impactful parts of the element that like really helped um you know understand the group dynamic because you know you can either get really upset about it or just be like you know let's move forward let's try this again um and you know and it, it, it varies with difficulty too because you can you know slide people through which you know has that trust uh, element to it you know, being like able to trust someone to, to carry you through the um, the web. And then there's also, you know, the more easier version. Actually, Sophie and I facilitated this together. Uh, we had a group and um, everyone participated for the most part. And so they're all standing, you know, um, in front and behind the web and you got to weave a rope through. And, you know, as soon as that rope touches the web, you start over. and um, I don't know. I really love that element, and I, I think it's very impactful and fun to watch them start over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. definitely a, a fun low element. Shout out to Anna Zita Rescue on this one because I remember doing this one with her last summer, and she like did a full like it was the most unreal thing. She like did like a back bend, and I don't even know how, but she like got through herself <laughs> right because at the beginning of the element, right, someone has to get through. I think. Um, before yeah. everyone else can get be carried through. And she was able to like somehow maneuver through this tiny little hole. It was crazy. Um, all right, and now, Z. yeah, shout out Anna Z. And now <laughs> lastly, Mr. Ashworth, the last pick of the draft, what are you taking? Uh, so this is a bit of a controversial take here because this element is the only element that we have selected so far uh, that is in the old quad. It's a very old roast course element and it's an absolute classic. And that's Simon's walk. Uh, mm. So for those of you who don't know, that's basically a – it's PP shuffle, that telephone pole on the ground, but it's raised about 40 feet up in the sky. Uh, and I think the reason that I picked this element the most – or the reason that I like this element the most is because it's actually a memorial. It's named in honor of a camper who passed away at a young age, uh, and it was named in his honor. And so I, I don't think we can, we can complete this list without picking this element. Uh, so it has that deep, that deep aspect to it. That's kind of sad and sombering, but it's also super fun. So if you, it's also kind of challenging. If you actually do it and you go into it with an open mind and you don't touch your belay rope, which you're not supposed to do anyway, but if you actually climb up and you don't touch your belay rope, it's actually semi challenging, uh, to actually walk across like that. You can do this thing blindfolded. You can go up with swords or, uh, you know, foam, uh, foam pool noodles <laughs> and you can whack around your buddy, which is super fun. <laughs> Uh, you can play dodgeball where people are throwing balls. You can try to catch those balls. Uh, it's, it's just a big, uh, an element that's so fun. It's just a classic. Uh, and I don't think that we can, we can complete our entire list of top elements without, without talking about that one. All right. What a great last pick. Um, so now really quickly, why don't we all run through and you guys will say uh, all four so we can hear them back. Uh, we'll start with you, Mr. Ashworth. All right. So, all, all the ropes course elements are great. Every single one of them is amazing. Uh, and these are more so very subjective personal picks. So I'd encourage you if you're going to camp next year or in the future, if you're going to the ropes course, keep an open mind because literally any of these elements that are out there can be super fun. Uh, okay. But for my personal top four, I have Pamper Pull, Jacob's Ladder, Team Wall, and Simon's Walk. Nice. All right. So we got three high elements and one low element, I believe, in yep. that list. All right, next, Melissa. Uh, love these. Quadrophenia, TP Shuffle, Spiderweb, and Hike Down to the Course. I did not say those in the right order, but <laughs> got to love them. <laughs> okay, and how many lows and highs did you take? 
Uh, I had one high, and then uh, the rest were lows. Uh, I think, <laughs> like Mike was saying, I mean, and I think we all could all agree that the low elements, you know, have just as much of an impact as the high, or even more sometimes. All elements are great, though. Big facts. For sure. Yeah. All right, Sophia, you're Mount Rushmore. All right, my top four, I've got lily pads, swinging tires, swing shot, and mohawk walk. And I kept a balance here. I've got two highs and two lows. Nice. A nice balance. We like that. All right. It's and finally, good. Mr. Nunu, we know that you went four for four for low elements. Let's hear your list. That's right. Team unbalanced over here. We got <laughs> uh, team, team Triangle, Islands, Trustfall, and Werewolf Watch. So those are my, my, my Mount Rushmore. All right. Nice. And now let's uh, hear from Owen, Mr. Owen Pluff, who has – the poll results for this week. Let's see what you guys, the listeners, chose as your top four, your Mount Rushmore's. To you, Owen. Hey, guys. I'm here with the listener results for this week. Um, at number four, we with 19 votes, we have the hike down to the challenge course. What an amazing pick. Um, at number three, with 20 uh, votes, we have Trustfall. Number two, with 21 votes, we have J Jacob's Ladder. Um, and number one, with 22 votes, Team Wall. Thank you guys for, for voting, and we'll see you guys next week. Wow, thank you for that, Owen. So really quickly, let's go through some honorable mentions. Sophia, what's an honorable mention that you were a little bit surprised didn't make the top 16, but you still wanted to throw a shout-out to? You know, my honorable mention is Nitro Crossing. Um, I am more familiar with Nitro Crossing as a debrief element you know to wrap up the day and i think it's a very nice way to kind of you know conclude the day you know review everything you've gone over you know final team building moments get it in there great choice sophia all right any other honorable mentions mr ashworth do you have any uh yeah uh for mine i'd probably do wild woozy uh, for a variety of reasons, I've had a ton of fun on this element. It's, it's really team team based, uh, and it's also very challenging and it requires pretty much both people to go at the exact same pace and full send and lean into each other just as hard and just as much, which is like a big, uh, metaphor for a lot of different things, you know, like friendships, relationships, etc. And in particular, two people that I did this element personally with was probably my best friend of all time, James Jabor. Uh, when we were both facilitators, little green beans, our first year, uh, we did this together. There's a picture of it. Uh, and I still hold that picture close to my heart today. And then I can't remember if it was last year or the year before that, but I actually did it with Nate Folan. The it absolute, last year. I yeah. think it was last year. Yeah. He's an absolute legend. He's the guy that comes out and trains us. And he is such a, he's such like a cool guy. I, he just gives off good vibes, man. Like, I can't oh, yeah. describe it any other way. And so to be able to do that with him, it was so we were very efficient, like, mm -hmm. because we've had a ton of experience, like, I, I guess you could say, training together. Uh, but he's taught me pretty much everything I know. So it was, like, a really cool moment. And I just really – I just those two stick out in my head. That's awesome. Yeah, that sounds great. All right. And then lastly, um, Melissa or Michael, do you guys have any honorable mentions you wanted to throw? Yes, and uh, I think this one is very classic, you know, you know, anywhere you go, I mean, you'll find the rock wall, right, any kind of climbing a facility. Um, what I love about this one, too, is that, um, you know, it allows for a friendly competition, you know, either with yourself, if you want to, like, be your own time or, like, you know, uh, compete with someone else, Um and you know that it it's all up to you how you uh, want this element to go. And I don't know. I feel like it's classic, and you know, it's the rock wall. So love it. Awesome. Yeah, I, I was gonna say like we have a list of like I think like twenty six, twenty seven different elements. And honestly, it's so hard because there's so many good ones to pick. But honestly, there's one like really important one we forgot to include. And honestly, I think it's the, the kendamas, right? Oh, no, get <laughs> out of here with that, Michael. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my God. Bro, the that's the low mama. element. It, it travels in Michael Nudu's backpack, dude. It's not even on the ropes course. It's just a low element inside of his own backpack. <laughs> I know, I'm just messing. Um, 
<laughs> like, you totally no, have. Um, but I was going to say, like, it's so hard. There's, like, 26, 27 different elements. It's so hard to pick, like, your favorite. And obviously, like, each one of us has our own list. Um, it's just so hard to, like, make a decision on, like, which ones are the best or which ones are our favorite because it's so subjective to each and every person. Yeah, that's a great point to end on. I definitely have noticed that the past few weeks just with doing camp locations, camp foods, evening programs, afternoon programs. Like, that's the thing that, you know, is super fun about these podcasts is we can all weigh in and share different opinions. And you know, no one's right and no one's wrong because we have a million different reasons why we love camp. And we're allowed to discuss, you know, all those different things uh, that makes camp, you know, so great. Uh, so thank you guys so much. Thanks to our facility squad for doing this Woo! episode. Thank you um, hey. Remember to uh, tune in every um, week at 9 p.m. for evening prayers. Uh, thanks for all our listeners. And uh, peace out, guys. Hey, thank peace. you so much, John. Stay hungry. Om nom nom nom. <laughs> <laughs>